Mark, this is Joe. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Are you ready to talk to Tom Elliott? Yep. I got his face up on my Beautiful. screen right now. Good man. I've got Mark Sargent, one of the leading proponents of the flat earth conspiracy theory in the United States. Is that okay with you? Sure. Good man. Won't be too long, okay? Okay. Thank you, mate. Team is Coach Simon. Good. And that sports bed ad you referred to earlier. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> when did you film that over here? Uh, just before uh, the the pandemic thing happened. So yeah, gotcha. yeah, it was a lot of Good lot man. of fun. Too long, Mark. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Alex Kirst is an American conspiracy theorist who believes that the Earth is indeed completely flat. Mark Sargent, uh, good morning. Hey, Tom. Thanks very much for having me. Well, it's uh, very kind of you to lend us your time. So well, why do you think the Earth is flat when there's so much evidence to the contrary? Uh, I think it is because when I was trying to, to prove the globe basically in a court of law, metaphorically speaking, back in 2015, I, I ran out of arguments for the globe. Um, the, the, the big ones would be the ones that get most people into our community are long distance photography. You can see things way, way further uh, than you should be able to. You know, boats going over the horizon, uh, HD cameras change that almost immediately where we can bring things back into frame, which are way, way further away than they should be. Um, second would be that my favorite, of course, is uh, gravity versus the vacuum of space. Vacuum, any scientist will, oh. tell you, will tell you vacuum wins all the time, but our atmosphere is still here. And yet... How is that possible? The vacuum, the vacuum of space should have ripped our atmosphere off almost immediately. Those are the two big ones. Well, but, but okay, but if that's the case, I mean, whether the Earth is flat or round, if, yeah. if you're saying that the vacuum of space would get rid of the uh, the atmosphere, wouldn't wouldn't it disappear in in either case? Wouldn't what disappear? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, you're, abs you're absolutely right. Uh, sorry, we should back up a little bit. Not only do I think it's flat, uh, what we basically say is there doesn't even have to be space. You're living in a box, a building, a planetarium, uh, no different than the Truman Show, with walls and a floor and a ceiling. And everything that you see in the sky, be it planets, stars, meteors, whatever, are just lights on the ceiling, no different than they would be in a planetarium. So you're living, you're living in a pressurized system. Well, but, but I mean, I mean, that's sort of like what in medieval times they they thought that the stars were pinpricks uh, in the firmament through which God's light shone. I mean, are you are you saying that is, is this planetarium you describe is it a, a creation of God or or some other being? Well, uh, it's something bigger than us. Yeah, let, let's clarify that really quick. We had nothing to do with the building of this place, and you're absolutely right. All the ancient cultures, if you type into Google ancient cosmologies and click on images, you everybody drew the exact same thing, which was some sort of snow globe. And yeah, whoever built this, it's one of two things. Either it's an ancient civilization that's much older and much more powerful than ourselves, or some sort of deity. But really, at that point, you're just splitting hairs because one man's advanced mm. tech is another man's god. Magic, yeah. Mm. Okay, so, so I mean, plenty of astronauts go up into orbit. Some have even been to the moon. I mean, the, the people who go on the International Space Station... Yeah. can in fact see that the earth is a globe mm. what, what would you say to them uh, unfortunately being an american I'm, I'm sorry to say this uh the american space program is an absolute sham from from beginning to end always has been uh in fact it's interesting because inside america i get it i understand why a lot of people here believe in our space program you know rah rah wave the flag go team but outside i ask everybody outside of the united states when i go there i go why do you believe the americans went to space and they all answer the same way it's like well because we saw it on television and the news would never, you know, television would never lie to us. The news stations would never lie. And I go, come on, the Americans? Because the Americans never lie about yeah. anything ever. We're, we are the kings of illusion over here. Okay, but I mean, there's been uh, an Australian astronaut. There's a couple who have been up with the uh, space station. There's a famous Canadian who's saying uh, ground control to Major Tom. Yep. There are Russians, there are Chinese taikonauts. Are they all... Lying at, at, at the highest level, yes. Uh, do, they, do they know why they're lying? A lot of them know. The Apollo astronauts, yes. They absolutely told them why they, why they were doing this. And they all became basket cases later. I mean, they crawled into bottles and, and they were real recluses. They hardly did any interviews. Nowadays, it's mostly just military people that sign non-disclosure agreements. I mean, mm -hmm. if you go up there, I mean, and they're high ranking, especially in the United States. We only send up uh, Air Force officers. Usually, colonels are higher. And, you know, at that point, you can't say anything because it's a whole different court of law. I mean, if you say anything at that point, it's treason. It's not court. Right. So, yeah. so 
if, if any of the earth is flat yeah. and one, you know, sails a, a ship or some sort of a boat to sort of the edge of the ocean, what happens? I mean, I mean do you fall off? No, ah, good one. Uh, when, yeah, that's it's like, okay, where's the edge? Okay, first off, the, the Thor movies did us no favors. It's not Asgard, right? It's not this flat disc with cosmic waterfalls flying in the vacuum of space. I mean, you're, again, you're just sitting in a box. Where that box is, we don't know. But the edge on all sides would be the Antarctic coastline. And by that, I mean the beginning of the edge. We're living in basically a big pond, a big saltwater pond and stretched around us around the entire outside is the Antarctic edge. And then thousands of miles inland would probably be the barrier that we discovered around 1960, the United States and the Soviet Union at the time, and then discovered, you know what, let's just keep this thing a secret for as long as we can. Okay. And, and do you find all this sort of interesting or amusing, or are you just convinced that you've actually found a fundamental truth that most other people don't grasp um i didn't want to get into this to be to be perfectly honest i mean yeah i mean i'd, I'd looked at just about every conspiracy you can you can think of over the years and some i liked and some i didn't like and this one i absolutely did not want to look at uh and i did i tried to disprove it everybody that gets into this community tries to shoot it down everybody because everybody hates it it's the worst conspiracy you ever think of because it's the only thing mm. we debunk to children you know, up here in the States, uh, we, you know, since sixth grade, it's like, okay, here's the globe. We set it in the corner of your classroom and we leave it there until you graduate. And so I was really angry when I figured this out uh, initially is like, holy smokes, because it opens up everything. You know, if, if this can be kept a secret, then just about anything can. But at the same time, okay, it's, well, it? sorry, go ahead. Uh, well, well, here's another question. I mean, I, I, I'm, where you are, it is summer. I don't know exactly where you are, but where we are, it's, it's winter. And believe it or not, in Australia, I mean, winter down here in Melbourne is freezing cold. Right. If the earth is flat and the sun just shines on it from up above, yeah. why do we have seasons at different times of the year? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. Uh, the seasons, think of, and I don't know if you're old enough to remember vinyl and record players, but a, a needle on the record player, you know, doesn't stay in the same path. You know, as the as you play the record, it either goes in if you played it in reverse, you know, it, it'd come back out. So that's really what creates the seasons are these subtle differences over time. You know, the sun doesn't stay in the same path, um, but it's also very, very small. That might be your follow up question, which people's like, OK, why do we even have time zones? Uh, you know, if the sun is wouldn't the sun be lighting up everything simultaneously? It's like, no, um, we say the sun is very, very small and the moon, the moon and the sun are roughly the same size and, and circle above you like a mobile above a child's crib, which are rough, which is roughly maybe 50 miles wide and I don't know, let's say 3000 miles high at that size and that distance. Yeah, you can. The, the light works out perfectly. OK, final question. If, if someone, let's say Elon Musk gets his uh, uh, you know, commercial spacecraft up and running and it all works and you know, I was to give you $100,000, so I'm going to buy you a ticket to go up on whatever the Tesla spaceship is called. Yep. And you could see with your own eyes through the porthole that, in fact, the Earth was round. Yep. Would, you, would you change your mind? Oh, I, I'd quit. I'd, I'd quit instantly. In fact, you're not the first person to, to ask that. I think there was a British television team that, that wanted to do that very same thing. And I said, oh, yeah, I absolutely would quit. I mean, this is a blessing and a curse for me. So if I got up there, of course, they're never, ever going to let me up there ever in a million years. But if I got up there and saw it, I'd, I'd quit. I'd shut everything down, shut all my social media down and, and say, thank God I can go back to my normal life. Uh, thank you for your time. Mark Sargent there, American conspiracy theorist, theorist who is convinced that the world is flat. Now, there's all sorts of things like why do we have night and daytime on different parts of the planet and why do we have different seasons and things? And I'm not really... Mark, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Speak soon. Bye. Uh, bye.